time now is approximately minus five minutes. Face Roy. Say again, Jack. Right to you. You got it. Oh, fine. Right. I've been busy listening to the flight. Everything's going very well. And let me give you some idea of what is about to happen here in just a few moments. Uh, as the 747 gets ready for the separation maneuver, it will go into a very shallow dive. And you may notice that the Enterprise in this model is sitting at a slight incline, about six degrees to be exact. That's planned. And at the time of separation, explosive bolts will be fired. Matter of fact, Fred Hayes will push a button, activating them. Those bolts will be fired, lifting the shuttle. The shuttle will then pitch up, and it will thereby be able to clear the tail of the 747, something about which many people seem to have been more worried than the astronauts because they've checked this out and worked it very carefully. Now, let's tune in. Let's see what's happening up there in the air, orbiting Edwards Air Force Base. Let's listen to the astronauts themselves and the 747 pilots. They're not saying anything, of course, at the moment. As soon as they do, I'll quiet Houston down. Houston Control, we're showing altitude 27,000 feet now. At uh, 2 minutes 41 seconds from pushover. Pushover clock will be updated at 1 minute. That's Jack Riley in Mission Control, Houston, advising us that pushover, which is the Shuttle maneuver. Shuttle aircraft pilot, uh, it's both will call uh, launch ready after pushover after he's achieved the uh, proper airspeed. Pushover. Probably the next call you will hear will be a Chase 1 calling a SEP. Chase 2 will call clear. The pushover to which Riley refers is the diving maneuver for the 747. Beautiful pictures from one of the chase planes. There is no countdown clock to separation. Okay, five for pushover minus two. Mark, pushover minus two. That's minus two minutes to the pushover. No problem. person calling that separation is the option of Fred Hayes after the launch ready call. We're hearing Houston Mission Control in direct communication with the astronauts and with the pilots of the 747. And uh, Mr. Riley is in Mission Control in Houston, much like the flights that flew in space. That, of course, is preconceived because Houston Mission Control will be doing all the controlling for the later orbital flights of the shuttle. And so they're breaking in the flight crews now. And in this picture, you can see very clearly chase plane activity off to the side. Those chase planes are observing the 747 and the shuttle. Stand by for pushover minus one. Mark, pushover minus one. You can set your watch by it. We're one minute away from the pushover, which will be the diving maneuver of the 747. And once they've achieved the right speed and the right altitude, then Fred Hayes will push the button. 905 and Enterprise Houston is go for pushover. 905. 905 is the 747, by the way. That's its code name. Up to launch heading. Roger. Launch ready. That was Fred Hayes advising that he's ready aboard the Enterprise. Okay, Enterprise is uh, set. Thanks for the left, Ned. We're about 10 seconds away from the diving maneuver. 905, we're coming up on 4 seconds to push over. 2, 1, push over. Houston copies push over. Such a shallow dive you can barely see the 747 start to nose down, but it has. Accelerating now, uh, airspeed 205. He's reading those speeds in knots, by the way. Altitude 27. 27,000 feet. Airspeed 230 knots. Okay, 240. Two lights, uh, Houston is going for set, have a great flight. They're cleared to separate. Power. Launch ready. Take one, there they go. They have separation. Phase two clear. Okay, we got a GPC light, lost the sync on two, pushing over. And a big X on computer number two. Roger, standby and halt on GPC number two. 
Go for mode 203. Roger. They're flying by computer. Okay, flying good. And you can hear them Roger. talking about the computer readouts now. B-50 starting flare. Putting on his flaps just like an airplane. He's conducting a practice landing at altitude. Now. This gives him the uh, feel and attitude and same airspeed as when he touched down. Twenty thousand two fifty-five. Twenty thousand two thirty. Yeah, that sideways lurch is really there. Yeah, looking great there, Fred. Okay, he's been working figured for the uh, just now start. Roger, we copy. Okay, Fred, two oh five at twenty thousand one hundred. Okay, 11 Alpha, pushing over. Okay, I got you 195 and 20,000. Okay, I'm running about 5 or 10 low on the backup and the prime boat. Okay. You're pulling contrails right now, Fred. Enterprise Houston, we show perhaps a slightly low L over D. They are still several minutes away from actual touchdown. We can gauge it as they read out their altitude. Enterprise, you're clear to start the turn. Okay, hey, Gordo's in the turn. It's really tight, uh, Bo. In fact, I think it's a little uh, better than the old uh, TA field. Great. Okay, Gordo, on the turn, 16,250. Fullerton's flying now. Okay. Fullerton in the right seat. I'm about 14 lower than you are in speed and right on altitude. Okay. 